Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to look at a Unitron Mystery Scope. We don't know exactly what this is, or that is to say we don't know exactly what the designation of this telescope is. It doesn't fit easily into any of our catalogs and categories uh, for Unitrons, or common ones at least. So uh, let's take a look at this scope. Now, a few things we do know about the scope. First of all, it is clearly a uh, Nihon Seiko manufacturer. That is, it's the same maker as the Unitron telescopes or Polar X telescopes. <clears throat> so it's clearly that. And I'll compare it with several other uh, Unitron Nihon Seiko products to show you that it's, uh, it's clearly the same manufacturer. Uh, but it's also quite unusual in many respects. It's got some uh, some characteristics. The focal length of this telescope is quite unusual. It's 700 millimeters focal length, and that's uh, kind of strange. The uh, more common Unitron telescopes were 900 millimeters focal length. Here's the objective. Just to make sure you understand that, this is the typical 60 millimeter F900. This is the most common focal length of Unitron telescopes, probably. Uh, all kinds of 60 by 900, 900 millimeter focal lengths. Gives you an F15 telescope, which is good optically. And many, many Unitrons were made in this focal length, uh, the 900 millimeters. There were some telescopes in particular, the Unitron guide scope. This is a guide scope that would have been used on a three inch or a four inch telescope, 60 by 700. There uh, also was a shorter guide scope than this, but 60 by 700 was the typical focal length that Unitron chose for their uh, more commonplace guide scope. For comparison, this is a uh, replica 60 by 500 guide scope. These are very rare. I was uh, not able to buy one, but I made a replica that looks just like it, same length and everything. So 60 by 500 is considerably shorter than this uh, 60 by 700 scope. I now have this telescope set up next to this one. This is a model 760. It's from the early 1960s and it is nominally a very very similar telescope. In fact optically I'm sure it's just about identical. 70 or 60 millimeters by 700 focal length. <clears throat> now these scopes were made uh, back in the early 60s for a limited time, just a few years. This one shows hallmarks of having been much later, much more like in the 70s, uh, maybe even early 80s, late 70s I would guess. Um, comparable to something uh, we'll hear about later called the Model 105. So anyway, this one is very similar. They both have the same kind of mount system here with a clamshell kind of a deal. Although the Although it's similar, it's uh, somewhat different. There are subtle differences. The uh, focal length is nominally the same. This one has a traditional Unitron pull-off dew shield. Um, it is very standard, very, very common, much like a, a 900 millimeter focal length or, uh, or the guide scope even. This one has a, a, a non, well, it's a dew shield, but it's it's an integrated dew shield with the lens cell. So it's a whole different kind of a deal. Another key difference is the style of focuser here. This focuser is a uh, moving focuser, a draw tube that slides in and out. This one has the, the whole focuser is on a draw tube, so the whole draw tube slides in and out. And the focuser has a very limited amount of motion like so. Uh, so that's another big difference. Notice the color of the legs. The finish on these legs is different. They changed over in all the Unitron telescopes and had this uh, sort of redder, lighter, oranger kind of a finish on them. Uh, 
after the, I would say the early 1970s or so. Uh, on the other hand, the finders are just about identical. I'll show you close-ups of all this. The lettering styles on the focusers is also quite different. I'll show you close-ups of that as well. Well, the differences between these scopes leads me to conclude that this scope uh, should not be classified as a Unitron 760. It's a, quite a different kind of a beast in many respects, other than the nominal focal length and aperture. It's pretty different. So let's compare this now with the Unitron Model 105. Now I have this scope set up next to a Unitron Model 105, indisputably from the late 70s, maybe early 80s. Uh, now let's compare these two scopes. Uh, obviously the main differences are this got a great big uh, bunch of things plastered on the side here. For some reason Unitron back in those days put these stickers on the side. They did that with some of their other scopes as well. Um, but that's a fairly superficial difference. Um, and you may call this superficial also, but I think you'll agree that the, the color on the legs, I'm pretty sure you can see that, the color on the legs, the finish on the legs is uh, identical. It's the same finish. Uh, later Unitrons had this these kinds of legs. So that's fairly distinctive. The focusers here are nearly identical. This has the more traditional Unitron focuser with a draw tube that slides in and out, like so. This one, same thing. So the focusers are nearly identical. The finders are nearly identical. The knobs are nearly identical. Uh, there is a difference here in the dew shield. This one has a, a more kind of a simple dew shield. This has a you know, a traditional Unitron kind of a dew shield. But in many respects, I think you'll agree that this has at least as much in common with this scope. These two scopes have as much in common as with the 760 I showed you in the previous section. Let me show you some close-ups. Have a look at the lettering on these scopes. The mystery scope is much more like the Unitron 105 the same is true with the focuser style. The focuser style on the Unitron 105 and the Mystery Scope are nearly identical. And the wood finish, also same or similar to the 105. So I think it has more in common and uh, is genetically closely related to this telescope here. Now to help resolve the mystery, let me tell you something else. This telescope comes from Australia. Now that's a pretty important piece of information. Nihon Seiko marketed scopes in other parts of the world other than the US and some of them had the Unitron brand on them. Now this scope being from Australia was one of those probably and here's a picture of a catalog listing a uh, Unitron Polar X Nihon Seiko, Seiko scope, whatever it might have been, uh, with the designation of a Model 133N. This is from an international catalog in the 1970s. Please notice that the picture shows a telescope with a sliding draw tube much like the Unitron 760 here in the United States. So the Unitron or Polarx, whatever it was, 133N is not quite the same scope as this. However, yet another catalog from the 1970s, an international catalog, uh, shows a listing for something called a 133N-2, Roman numeral 2. Uh, there's no picture with that one. Um, so we don't have a catalog picture of that particular telescope. This telescope might possibly be that one. I don't know. I'm completely lost and very confused. I do know that I love this little scope. It's a completely charming, interesting, and incredibly unique telescope. 
Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video about this strange mystery Unitron telescope from the 1970s. Thank you for watching.